Good morning. It is a beautiful day to, to be in the church this morning. We got here and the air conditioners weren't working, but Steve went and laid hands on them and somehow they're working a little bit right now. The A Steve. Um, it is troubling. Yesterday, all that took place, um, marching for hatred, and I just felt like I needed to say something about that this morning. Um, all the destruction that I was watching yesterday, and it's basically the car driving into a crowd on purpose, and I just felt like we needed to say a little prayer for our nation. I have a friend who wrote a beautiful poem, and I'm going to try to find it. It just went away. Here we go. Her name is Cricket Harrison. She preached my ordination. Uh, she was a mentor to me. She was uh, a writer of uh, prayers and of things in a book called Chalice Worship, which a lot of ministers use. But she wrote these words. Horrific images of the power of hate crowd our thoughts, torment our minds, bodies crushed and broken, one life taken, words of rebuke spoken too late. We see too clearly the power of hate. Does not love hold power as well? Quieter, less visible perhaps, less strident. Love does not scream epithets. Which is the stronger? Hard to say. Rarely does the network news report the works of peace, the courage of compassion, the unseen offerings of goodness, one human being to another. Yet, is there not true power in love? A bulldozer can clear a lot in short order. Debris, dead trees, broken glass, old fencing, gather to a corner to make room for something new. A community garden, let's say. Since we're dreaming, new possibilities open up. No question. Still, in the corner lies a pile. Debris, dead leaves, broken glass, old fencing, unchanged except for its location. Power displayed, but complete change not accomplished. Flour, salt, a bit of sugar, some oil or an egg, nothing exciting here. Then comes the yeast. Slowly, almost magically, disparate elements come together as bread, something life-giving. Power nearly hidden but transformation that can feed the world. Perhaps love possesses the power of yeast. Perhaps the one we call the bread of life calls us to be that yeasty goodness for a world starving for a taste of love. The process will be slower. The photo ops will be fewer. But the power of love will yet be seen in God's world. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we come before you seeking wholeness in a fragmented world. We know that there are so many differences out there and people are hurting, but we seek your love, your care, your compassion that our world might be made whole. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living Oh, man. 